With NASA's next robotic mission, the Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite, NASA is on the hunt for exoplanets, some of which may harbor the conditions for life. Welcome to the Space News Review, I'm Andrew Gosser. The Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite is often referred to as TESS. TESS is the next in a long line of NASA planet hunting missions and promises to expand our knowledge of exoplanets. The concept of TESS began in 2006. The design was initially developed from private funding and in 2008, the Massachusetts Institute for Technology, MIT, pitched the idea to NASA under the Small Explorer program. Unfortunately, TESS was not selected on the first submission. However, in 2010, TESS was resubmitted by MIT, and in 2013, the mission was funded as a medium explorer mission. Critical design review was completed in 2015. The spacecraft was built by Orbital Sciences for $75 million, and the estimated launch cost is $85 million. TESS only has one scientific instrument consisting of four wide field of view charge coupled device cameras. The SpaceX Falcon 9 Block 5 rocket carrying the satellite will lift off from Space Launch Complex 40, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, Florida. With its scientific payload, the area scanned is 400 times larger than the incredibly successful Kepler mission. Previous sky surveys with ground-based telescopes have mainly detected giant exoplanets near the size or larger than Jupiter. In contrast, TESS will examine a large number of smaller planets around the very brightest stars in our night sky. TESS will record the nearest and brightest main sequence stars hosting transiting exoplanets, which are most favorable targets for future detailed investigations. The primary mission is planned for two years. TESS will be the first satellite to use a lunar resonant orbit. This highly elliptical orbit keeps the spacecraft well outside the intense radiation of the Van Allen belts. Avoiding the Van Allen belts greatly reduces the risk of damage to the satellite and also maximizes the potential science. Collected science data will be beamed back to Earth every two weeks. Scientists are confident the orbit will remain stable for decades. The stable orbit allows for more follow-on missions with tests, should NASA decide. Scientists expect to discover at least 3,000 new exoplanets, some of which could be super-Earths residing in the Goldilocks zone. The Goldilocks zone refers to that zone that has the potential to harbor life. For the first year of operation, TESS will point its cameras towards the Southern Hemisphere, and in year two, the Northern Hemisphere. During its mission, TESS will tile the sky with 26 separate segments, with each segment taking approximately 27.4 days to image. TESS expects to launch on April 16, 2018. And that's all you need to know about the upcoming TESS mission. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with your friends and family. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like our Facebook and Instagram pages, and follow us on Twitter. Let's all keep pushing the envelope to open up the infinite economy for all of us. Until next time, Ad Astra.